My name is Christian, and I'm excited to share my journey for a rare class of super fast wind powered boat and the development of an engine that can power them. My goal was not to be tied to tradition and use physics to deduce the fastest class of wind powered boat possible and try to keep my mind open onto what that might look like. I would use clues from around the world for my hunt for my true white whale, the fastest class of blue water sailboat. To counteract the lift of the sail and keep sail rocket from flying away like a kite, there is a foil directly opposite the wing, drawn in yellow, which acts like a hook in the water to pull it back down to earth. My initial lead was the current world record holder, the Vestia sail rocket, but during my research I found its ocean faring sibling, and from a pure physics standpoint, this was the most elegant design I've ever seen. The healing motion between the mass and the keel is replaced by the tension between the kite and the keel. It's an order of magnitude less mass. It's basically a dystopian action movie. This led my research to France, where Luc Aramat from Ozone Paragliding did it years ago. Rather than focusing on the sailboat's hull, I propose to make it disappear. Let's forget about the transport function and concentrate fully on speed. A sailboat without mass, without excitation from or by the interface. Luke was actually able to suspend his craft between two opposing foils, confirming that it worked. It's all engine. It's basically a TIE fighter, not to mention the insane power to weight ratio. And Sirocco in France was already in on the secret, but I had some questions. I got in touch with Don Montague down at Kai Concepts. He co-founded Project Kiteboat and the wind energy company Makani that got bought by Google. Don probably has more experience than anyone in the world when it comes to experimental kite propulsion. And he said you want a crew of at least three to four to manage the kite. And you never want to take your eye off the kite. Which led me to a question. How would you fit a working crew of three to four on this boat? Well, sky sails would be a hint. This German company uses kites to pull ships and even power homes. An RC control pod below the kite is used for steering, but we could technically suspend the crew in a gondola below the unit. This would improve stability and would allow the crew to manually control the pod from within the cabin while not ruling out remote control. And by understanding this geometry, I was starting to see the form the boat would take. A sort of deconstructed sailboat with a hydrofoil keel underwater, a multi-surface hull in the air, and a kite sailing above that. Flying a boat like this would be inconceivable. In terms of raw speed and power, there is no comparison. This is the rare class of ultra-performance sailboat I've been looking for, so Waterworld wasn't too far off. Back in my home state of Washington, I began work on a proof of concept. It seemed right to start with the control pod. It would need to function like a turret above the superstructure. The sky sails control pod is designed to steer the kite, but this new variation would also need to reel the tethers, and I decided to install a secret function I'll discuss later. This is a first good test. This is a really great test. I proved that the concept worked. I did a lot, but I needed help from my community. A friend noticed my work and invested a little seed money so I could get started on a prototype. The focus would be on a consumer product, a means of propulsion that people could use for their own projects. I shared my progress on 3D printing forums and Pantheon Design reached out at the perfect time. So I went for a visit. This BC startup specializes in printing parts for tech and space companies like Blue Origin. And I was really lucky to have their help. I decided to build the engine with high strength, waterproof UV resistant ASA due to the marine environment with the aim to upgrade to carbon fiber ASA in the future. And a block away was Grin Technologies and these guys are geniuses. The amount of thought they put into their controllers is staggering. The control pod has a lot in common with electric bikes. I was able to reconfigure their controller to work with the control pod, 
On top of that, Grin is one of the few companies in North America that installs their controllers with Regen, meaning the control pod could charge itself. A friend gave me a space to work on the project, so I went to the windy state of Colorado. I started out with some bench tests, but it was time to get in the field, and my friend's dad knew a rancher named Charles with the perfect site. The Denver air was far thinner and gustier than what I was used to. So it's fully capable, but look here, the wind picks up 20 knots, and when I say it can be a propulsion device, it just has tons of power. We didn't even pull a, a full kite loop, and this is what happened. Over 400 pounds traveled straight through my machine and pulled out the anchors. The mounting strategy would be important for anyone considering a kite engine. On top of that, there was a control issue that needed to be solved. I built the engine, but all the controls had to be familiar and intuitive, an interesting concept for something that doesn't exist yet. Designed as the powerhouse for ultra performance sailboats. This is kite control on a new level. The new prototype kite engine. So this is a typical kite bar, but we're going to evolve past that. So we've got the same controls. We've got our right line, middle line, and left line. Designed with three modes of operation. A manual mode with a hand crank. Auxiliary and electric control. Reeling outline is easy. With a capacity of 600 feet or 180 meters, adaptable to many boats, maintain tactile control from anywhere on the vessel. Then turn off the engines and enjoy the sensation of a true downwind run. Translate your sailing experience to kite flying skill. Constructed for harsh marine environments, built from waterproof UV resistant ASA, its durability is unmatched. A step beyond a spinnaker, taking sailcraft to new levels of speed and maneuverability. We can reel in and out line, but how is the kite engine different than other kite controllers? Well, what if we had complete freedom? No limitations like flying a kite with no strings attached to surpass human limitations. This is why I built the kite engine. Superior positional control during any maneuver. Pre-programmed line management with optional electric control. Untwist line from the winch itself. Ease of relaunchability. Continuous downwind loops. Transform your kite into a single bladed propeller and travel deeper in the wind window. The kite engine is designed with regen braking technology. This means it can translate speed for electrical power and charge itself. When the kite is at altitude and starts to pull, it spins this generator and you can see the regen activate. The line extends in the most efficient pattern for power generation, thanks to advancements in control technology. This means the kite can function as a sail as well as a wind turbine, both without the need for a mast or foundation. And with automated control, there are serious offshore wind energy implications for commercial and private use. Originally designed as the powerhouse for ultra-performance sailboats, the Kite Engine is the perfect outboard sail for boats that want to extend their range, boats that need replacement rigging, boats that have no rigging, and anything in between. Ice, snow, dunes, land off-grid getaway, or project we've yet to see.